Okay, so this video gives you some idea what to do if you get an error code 83 when launching the Disney Plus app on your Fire TV stick. It might also apply to other devices too. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things will help us make more great videos for you. So first of all, let's have a look. What is an error code 83? It says something went wrong, please try again. So obviously the error isn't very helpful, but let's look into it further. So if we go to the Disney Plus help section on their website, it basically tells us that a code 83 is usually a device compatibility issue or a connection error. Possible causes include, but are not limited to, using an unsupported device, including an emulator or method to access Disney+. Plus. Example, playing a video on your device's web browser instead of the Disney Plus app. Or it might be that your internet connection's unstable or slow. So the chances are, if you're using a older device, like a first or second generation Fire TV stick, then it may well be that it's just simply too old. Now I know some people have said that uh, Disney Plus has been available in the App Store, but just simply doesn't work. Unfortunately, I think this is a bit of a bug at Amazon, at Amazon uh, because really it shouldn't have been available in the App Store if it's not compatible with your device. But anyway, so if you're running an older first or generation Fire TV stick, then quite possibly, as I say, it is not compatible, but it's worth trying these few things first of all. Now, the first thing and probably the most easiest thing to try is to restart your device. Now to do this, grab your remote control, okay, and press and hold both the play pause button and the middle button in the center of the ring of the remote control and keep it held down until you see your Fire TV device is powering off. Then let go and then the device will restart and once it's restarted, try going into the Disney Plus app again. If you're still getting the error code 83, then the next thing to do is to make sure that your device is up to date. So go across to the settings cog just over there on the right and then go down to My Fire TV, middle button, and then go into About and then go down to check for updates. Press the middle button on the remote control when check for updates is highlighted and it will then check for updates. Now, it might well be the case that if there is any updates, then let them install, okay? Restart your device if uh, needed and then come back to this section here. So go back to, let's like, say, the settings cog, go down to My Fire TV go into about and then go down to check for updates and check again. Just keep checking until you, you get your Fire TV is up to date. In actual fact, even if you get your Fire TVs up to date, perhaps restart your Fire TV stick by pressing and holding again the play pause button and the middle button in the center ring of the remote control until it tells you your Fire TV is powering off, then let go, let it restart. And then once it's restarted, go back again, go back to the settings cog, okay? And then go down to My Fire TV, go into about, and then check for updates again just to be sure, because sometimes I have actually had updates come through after a restart, even though before then it said your Fire TV is up to date. So once your Fire TV is up to date, then all you've got to do is go back into the Disney Plus app and uh, try again. Something else to try is if you're running a VPN to switch the VPN off. It could be that uh, it's being blocked also, some people have found at times their IP address as issued by their internet provider has also been blocked by Disney. So it could well be a case of you just need to unplug your router from the mains, maybe leave it unplugged overnight and then plug it back in again in the morning and hopefully your router will pick up a different IP address. Sometimes when you unplug your router, 
it will automatically find a different IP address from the internet service provider straight away, but other times it may well pick up the same IP address. So hopefully by leaving your router unplugged overnight, someone else will grab that IP address that you had the bad one, and when you plug the router back in again, that IP address isn't available, so your, your internet provider will be forced to give you a different IP address. If that still doesn't work, then again, try going across to the settings cog, go down and across to applications, middle button, and go down to manage installed applications, middle button. Find Disney Plus in here, and then once you've highlighted it, middle button, and then what you wanna do is you wanna go down to full stop, middle button, and then go down to clear data, middle button, middle button again, and then down to clear cache, middle button, and middle button again. And then go up to launch application and press the middle button. Now again, if you get the error code 83 again, then the next thing to try is to come out of it. And once again, if you're not here, go back to the settings cog, go down and across to applications, middle button, and then go down to manage installed applications, middle button, and then find Disney Plus in the list, middle button, and then go down to uninstall, middle button. And then confirm you wanna uninstall Disney Plus, let it uninstall, press the home button on the remote control, that's the picture of the house, and then go across to the magnifying glass, go down, middle button, and then type Disney Plus, and as you're typing Disney Plus, you'll see it appear below. Once you see it, highlight it, middle button, and then make sure you've highlighted this blue and white Disney Plus icon under apps and games, middle button, and then middle button again to reinstall it. So let that install, that a bit will take a little bit of time, just depends on the speed of your internet connection. But once you see downloading or installing going to open then once again press the middle button on the remote control and uh, see if it opens up let's just uh, wait for that to appear there we go and uh, press the middle button on the remote control to launch it and again if we get the error code 83 press the home button on the remote control and what we want to do is next thing we want to do is we want to check the speed of our device and its connection to the internet, obviously. So we're gonna download a speed test app. So go across to the magnifying glass, go down middle button to get the keyboard up and type in there test space, oh, net speed. And as you'll see, as you're typing it, test net speed will appear below. So once you see it, highlight it, middle button on the remote control, and it's this dark blue and white test net speed that we want. So highlight that, middle button, and then middle button again. Now, virtually any speed test will work, but this one I find particularly thorough, so we're gonna give this one a try just to make sure that we are getting the minimum speed now the minimum speed recommended for Disney Plus by Disney Plus is five megabits so what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to scroll down to got it there middle button okay and then we're going to go for the test download speed standard so middle button on the remote control and this is now going through and doing a test. And as you can see, my download speed isn't great, 21.5253, but Disney Plus say their minimum recommended download speed is five. So it certainly exceeds that. The only thing is Disney Plus do say for 4K content, your minimum speed must be at least 25. So I can't play 4K content, I can only play 2K content as it says here. So if that didn't work for you, you can also go for the test download speed alternate and just see if that one works. It could be there's a problem with the server. So if you're getting a particularly low speed on the first test, it's worth trying the alternate one just in case. Okay, so if you're getting lower than five megabits per second there, that is probably the reason why you're getting the code 83 error. Now, if 
you're still getting the code 83 error and your speed was above five megabits per second, then the next thing to try would be to unplug your Fire TV stick from the mains, okay, and from the back of the TV and leave it unplugged for 30 minutes. This will drain all of the power out of your Fire TV stick and reset any any bad sort of chips, any bad RAM that's, uh, that, that's, that's cached in the memory. So give that a try, uh, see if it works after half an hour. Like I say, unplug it not only from the mains, but obviously the TV as well. So it's not connected to absolutely anything. Just give it time to cool down and to drain its power. If when you plugged it back in again, you're still getting the code 83 error, then it is likely that your device just simply isn't compatible with it. Who knows why? It might be that it's too old, but Disney Plus say it's not compatible. It's worth rechecking the app from time to time because Disney Plus may make some amendments to the app. It's obviously worth checking to make sure that the app is up to date. And the best way to do that really is just to uninstall the app and reinstall it again. Also check your device for updates regularly as well. Okay, so as I say, it's likely that your device just simply isn't compatible. Now there is one more thing to try, but it is a drastic measure and it does mean wiping everything from your Fire TV device and that is to reset it back to factory settings. Uh, like I say, it, it's, it's very unlikely this is going to work, but if you want to give it a try and you've got the time to reset your Fire TV stick up, it's obviously worth a, a try. So this will wipe, like I say, everything off of your Fire TV stick. So go across there to the settings cog, go down to My Fire TV, middle button, and then go down to Reset to Factory Defaults and follow the instructions on the screen after pressing the middle button. But do make sure that you know this is gonna wipe everything off of the Fire TV stick and you're gonna to have to reset it up as if it was a brand new Fire TV stick. So you're gonna to have to make sure that you can re-download your apps. You're gonna to have to make sure that you've got your Amazon password and your Wi-Fi password to reset it back up from scratch. So there you go. Well, I hope one of these resolves does help you with the uh, code 83 error. If it does, let us know. Let us know which one uh, resolved it for you. If it didn't and you found another way of uh, resolving the error, then again, please post down below. Let us all know because obviously many people do read the comments and uh, it would be good to know if there is any other way of, uh, of resolving this error. And don't forget, whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not have a look around? I've got thousands of other videos covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully you might find something to educate you, entertain you, and maybe even amuse you. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, hit that like button. If you think your friends, your family, or your work colleagues might like it, then don't forget to share this on your social media timelines. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you find out about all my latest videos the second they're released, hit that subscribe button, then hit the bell, then hit all. You can also find me on Twitter at CWTech and also find my website at cwtech.co.uk. Liking, sharing and subscribing really helps support this channel. Thank you very much.